Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. We have Tops Update is finally here after seeing it previewed on the channel over a week ago with the Barnes & Noble mystery packs. Now we have the actual product. This is a jumbo box of 2021 update. There's one autograph and two relic cards in this box. Ronald Acuna Jr., the cover boy. Ten packs with uh, 46 cards per pack, grand total of 460 cards. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Let's bring in our sponsor, it's Jack Holland, who is one of our Patreon members. If you'd like to check us out on Patreon, it's $4.99 a month to have access to all of our breaks. And we just recently uh, put up our um, Saturday Showdown listing. So inside we have our silver packs, which are silver in the update release. And also you get two tops tech 70th anniversary cards. That's pretty awesome. I can't wait to check out what that's about. You can only get these in these jumbo boxes. So here we go. 10 total packs. Let's see what we can find for Jack. I love the jumbo product. Um, probably pretty good too, but for me, it's uh, all about jumbos when it comes to flagship. Um, all right, so here we go. We've got Brian Garcia, rookie card. We'll go a little bit slower there. There's the Boston Red Sox, top shelf catalyst. They wore those uniforms for like, what, 15 games in a row or something like that. Jake Lamb. There's a Kyle Finnegan, rookie card. We've got Wade Miley throwing a no-hitter. One of how many pitchers threw no-hitters this year? It was a bunch. It may have been like 10 or something like that. Ryan McKenna. I lost track after a while. Will Craig, rookie card. We've got Julio Tehran right there. There's Cole Tucker with the long hair. Not really sure why he's an update. He's not a rookie, I guess. Um, sometimes they put players that <clears throat> didn't get a chance to get into the base uh, Series 1 or Series 2, kind of like overflow. Christian Pache, rookie card. That's the rookie debut, so that's a good one. We'll keep an eye on the rookie debuts. There's typically, I think, about 10 decent rookie debut um, in each set of update from year to year. We have a Sam Henkes rookie card. Joe Panic. There's Dane Dunning, rookie card, now with the Texas Rangers. Steven Matz in his Blue Jays uniform. So you're going to see some players that change teams. And, oh, man, here we get to the good stuff. We've got a short print of Lou Gehrig. Very nice one right there. That's a short print of the Iron Horse. Very, very nice. And I am excited about this. It's the 1993 Toss Black Gold Design and Clayton Kershaw. I was so pumped on this set back in the day. I used to buy 93 Tops. I think that's why I probably have more 93 Tops cards in my childhood collection than any other year. Just going after these bad boys right there. There's a Garrett Cole All-Star Game card. I'm not sure if that's a short print either. Let's see if we can figure it out. So this one ends in 25, and the base cards are going to end in... What's that say? 95. So I think we have two short prints in the same pack right there. That's pretty awesome. Reese Hoskins. Jared Kelnick rookie debut. Another nice one. Jared Kelnick's the number one rookie in this set. If we're talking about rookie cards, it's got to be some combination of Kelnick and Nikhil Badu and Andrew Vaughn. There's Corey Ray right there. Uh, also, you have Yermin Mercedes in here, along with uh, Jonathan India. Some people will probably put India first. There's Jock Peterson of the Cubs. I guess they didn't have enough time to get him in his Braves uniform. Stephen Brault, Matthew Beatty. So, interesting stuff. It's always nice to look at these cards for the first time. Nick Madrigal, rookie debut. Of course, he's no longer on the White Sox. Got traded away, but hasn't played in the game yet for the Cubbies. Because he has been hurt. So, pretty nice first pack. Like it. Let's go on to the next one. By the way, we'll be doing a break of these tonight on the channel. Likely will be about three cases or so. There's Alec Bohm's rookie debut. Nice one right there. Another one of the top rookies. And Casey Mize, another one of the top ten rookies. He gets a rookie debut card as well. Jazz Chisholm. With, wow, lots of rookie debuts in a row here. Pretty good pack for rookies. Evan White also gets a rookie debut. And there's Dexter Fowler. Ty France had a nice season this year. Nick Matone, rookie card. There's good old Jay Happ. <clears throat> That's an interesting picture right there of John Gant. That here is pretty crazy and distracting. There's Shane McClanahan, rookie debut card. I'm looking for the autograph or the good stuff. It should be coming up soon. There's my guy, Tony Watson. He's one of my uh, favorites. He was always so kind with the Buckos. Speaking of the Buckos, we got Ben Gamble, Tops Gold. We've got a Spencer Turnbull. We've got a 1956-style Mookie Betts, 70 years of tops. 
And look who it is. It's Cedric Mullins. I believe that might be a short print right there. Um, or maybe every pack it's an all-star game card. But that there's a nice one. Cedric Mullins 30-30 club. Andrew Vaughn. Another nice one. Akil Badu rookie card. There's the bad man Badu. Shout out to Fuzzy. Akil Badu rookie card. Fuzzy's probably going to have about 100 of these in his collection before the week is over. Everybody's been waiting for that card for a long time. There's Kbert Ruiz. And we'll see if there's anything else of note. So far, what are your thoughts about... There's a rookie debut of Davey Garcia. What are your thoughts on Topps Update? I like it. Bobby Dalbeck rookie debut card. Joe Adele. Uh, we've yet to see the key Brian Hayes. We've seen most of the players or the Ryan Mountcastle. Maybe there's way more than 10 rookie debut cards. We had like 10 in that pack alone. Next pack up, let's see what we can find for Jack. It's been a pretty good box so far, despite not having any hits to speak of. But those hits will be coming. They are guaranteed. John Means throws a no-no. There he is, just going crazy. John Means, one of the bright spots. Charlie Morton, what a... Tough guy he is, pitching with a broken leg in the World Series. Yep, had a broken, what was it, fibula on the comebacker, and went out there and pitched another inning, striking out the last guy he faced on that broken leg and then just couldn't go any farther. There's Wade Davis back with the KC Royals. Garrett Stubbs, Tyler Alexander, former Pirate right there. All right, here comes the good stuff. Taylor Trammell getting a rookie debut card. And we have Alec Manoa, very lights-out young pitcher out of 70 for the Blue Jays. So that's a nice one right there. And we have our first hit. It is Jazz Chisholm. It is a player-worn jersey rookie, Jazz Chisholm. And there's the 87 Topps design. You'll be seeing this design all over the place when we'll come next uh, February. And I do guess you get an All-Star game in every pack. I was picking those out like they're short prints, but um, they're probably not as rare as... We would have hoped. All right, there's Taylor Trammell's base rookie card. Sam Hoff gets a rookie debut along with Luis Garcia. Let's see if we can find now the Jonathan India and Key Brian Hayes. I'm surprised we haven't seen India yet, but there's still plenty of packs left to go. kind of hate how these are all flipped upside down all the time. Will Harris, Nate Lowe, and uh, Kyle Funkhauser is the last one. Next pack up, pack number four. So we have our relic on the board. Let's see what else we can find. And our break will go a lot faster through the base cards. So that's what the preview video. You're like, why are you? Some of you might be like, why are you going so slow? Well, it's my first time seeing these. I want to familiarize myself with these. Brent Honeywell, after lots of injuries, finally getting a rookie card. Sixto Sanchez rookie debut is a nice one. There's a team card of the Mariners getting up in the air after a W. Let's see what else. Zach Wheeler. Man, they waited until now to get... I guess he was probably in his Mets uniform in Series 1 or Series 2. Austin Dean. Nick Gordon with a rookie card. You might remember him. He was on the cover way back in 2014. Bowman. That's a nice one. I remember that. Didn't Miguel Cabrera hit the first home run of the season in the snowstorm? I don't even know how he saw the pitch. Willie Adame. So there's Alex Kirloff rookie debut. So if you love your rookies, you're going to have a bunch of them in here. I guess they decided that Trevor Stefan and Nick Sandlin weren't good enough to have their own card because that's the first tandem card we've seen. We, oh, look at this. It's this Jazz Chisholm box. You got a Jazz Chisholm relic, and now you have a red auto out of 25. Very nice right there. So Jazz Chisholm, one of the top rookies in this class, and Jack has uh, hit the relic and the autograph. Very good stuff right there. Congratulations, there's a 61 Chris Bryant, an all-star card, which I guess you get in every pack. There's Albert Pujols in his Dodgers uniform. Tarek Skubal, rookie debut. Freddie Peralta, there he is. Jonathan India, the likely rookie of the year in 2021 for the National League. Esteban Florial, man, they just... For some reason, I thought there was 10 rookie debuts. That was probably last year. It's more like, seems like 100 of them. Probably not that much, but a whole bunch for sure. Starting to see a couple repeats now. We've seen that Melanson already. That's got to hurt for the Rockies fans seeing Arnauto in a Cardinals jersey. But you might be used to it by now. It's been a whole year. Next pack up. Man, we're only missing now the manufactured relics. So we'll see what's coming up. 
Maybe we'll have a nice short print. Here's some repeats from the previous packs that we've already seen. I already saw that Will Craig and Tucker and the Pache. Uh, that's pretty much an entire repeat. Now we get to the middle. There's a Jameson Tyon. That's a gold card. We got Yogi Berra. Our all-star game card is an Adam Fraser. Of course, he got traded away. The Padres, Alec Manoa, and uh, there's the Yermin Mercedes. So the first uh, part of the pack was all repeats. Now we're getting into the uh, newer stuff. Yermin Mercedes with a bent corner on it for some reason. Uh, there you go. See that? What's up with that, Tops? What happened? Jared Kelnick, and are we into some repeats again? Spencer Turnbull. I think this might be a repeat pack as well. Ian Anderson rookie debut. I don't know if we've seen that one. A rookie combo card. The second one of those that we've seen. And that'll do it for that stack. Five packs down. Five left to go. Cody Poteet once again. So we're seeing some of our repeats. Brent Honeywell. Zach Wheeler we've seen. There's that Nick Gordon again. There's the Kirloff once again. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the good stuff. There's a Vladimir Gutierrez. Got a gold foil card of Travis Shaw. We've got a, not, wow, another hit. It's a regular gold card of Adam Simber. Derek Jeter, that's a nice looking card right there. Nelson Cruz, Blake Snell will finish off that pack. There's Tarek Skubal again, Jonathan India. So we're getting back into our repeats. There's Francisco Lindor in his Mets uniform for you Mets fans. Yermin Mercedes for the second time. So I guess that's good. You got another Yermin Mercedes. Kind of replaces the screwed up one with the bad corner. And there's that Nolan Arenado once again. So really the only thing we're missing now is the manufactured patch. Which won't be too exciting. But I'm pretty excited about the silver pack. So stick around for those. We'll get to those in just a minute or two. Let's see what we can find in this next Owen Miller. There's Josh Bell in his Nationals uniform. Dylan Carlson, rookie debut. I'm trying to think who else we're missing now from the rookie debuts. I know Key Brian Hayes for sure. Brady Singer gets a rookie debut card. Those debuts are worth about half as much as their base cards. They're not as uh, valuable as the real rookie card. We've got the manufactured patch. It is Carlos Correa. You can see the Rockies colors on there, and it's out of 199 Rockies colors because it was played in Colorado. The game was moved from Atlanta. Kind of makes for an awkward situation. That's a nice Randy, by the way, for our commissioner, Robert Manfred. He's going to have to present a World Series trophy in front of a crowd base that hates him passionately either way. It's either going to be in front of the Braves fans who hate his guts. So there's a Jonathan India because... Manfred decided to do a little, play a little politics and move the All-Star game out of Atlanta. And, uh, you know, whatever side you're on, half the people are going to be opposed to that. Half of them are going to be in favor of it. But, uh, of course, all the Braves fans were very upset and can't blame them. Um, and also the Astros have been penalized by Manfred for their cheating scandal. So they're not big fans of him either there's jake cronenworth rookie debut that's a nice one we've got two packs left and then we'll get to the silver packs trevor rosenthal there's a nice 1992 design of mike piazza our all-star game card here is going to be a mike trout one in every pack now that's blatantly obvious you get an all-star card in every pack hey bo bichette nice one right there looks like with the oscar hernandez big john nagowski he was a Pittsburgh folk hero there for a few weeks when he was doing pretty well in the summer, and I think he eventually was DFA. There's Joey Bart, rookie debut. Chad Cool, I despise Chad Cool, one of my least favorite players. And Tyler Stevenson, rookie debut. We've got two packs left. Let's see what we can find. Travis Shaw is on the back. We've got Taylor Walls on the front. Ryan Hendricks. Michael Taylor, they're still around. Uh, now with the Royals, there's Nate Pearson, rookie debut. We've got the Andrew Vaughn base rookie card right there. There it is. If you're looking for that one, that's what that one looks like. That's one of the top ones that I noted for the top rookies in the set. I think we got all of them, didn't we? Did we get the Kelnick base? I know I got one in one of my packs. 
Definitely saw the rookie debut, Koenig. There's Nicky Anderson. And, oh, look at this. It is another 1993 Topps card. Design Topps Gold. It's the Tatis. That's a beautiful card right there. Love these cards. I'm going to need to put that set together for sure. And there it is, the Key Brian Hayes rookie debut card. Key Brian had a rough season this year in terms of production. Not really what you want. But he also had a really badly hurt wrist for half the season. Luis Patino is a nice one. One thing I've noticed, no Shohei Otanis. I'm sure I'll have an all-star card in here, but I'm surprised they didn't find some kind of way to put, like, four Shohei Otani cards in the base set and, like, four Vlad Juniors. Maybe that's just because I'm used to Topps Update from last year where there was how many Mike Trout cards were in last year's 2020 Update? Like, at least four, maybe as high as six. It just seems like they were, they were all over the place. We've got a rookie card of Kai Tom who was a Rule 5 pick for the Pirates. I think eventually DFA. There's Trevor Larnock, rookie card. He was a nice prospect coming up. J.B. Bukowskis, probably said his last name wrong. Patrick Wisdom is a nice one. His rookie card's been going up. Ryan Weathers, rookie debut. Andrew Knapp. Let's get to the good stuff in this pack, which is always right in the middle. All right, we've got Kyle Cody out of 299. That's an orange. We've got a Joey Bart silver. We've got a Garrett Crochet rookie card. Very nice one right there from the 2016 top set. There's Chris Taylor and Jared Kelnick, 86. Nice one right there as well. And there it is, the Jared Kelnick base card. So we got all the Kelnicks that we can handle. Got the base, we got the rookie debut, and we got the the um, 86. There's the Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle, by the way, was voted the rookie of the year in the American League by the Players Association. Now, that doesn't mean really anything. It's the writing, writers that determine the award, but tells you he's got a shot for the rookie of the year. We'll see what happens with that. Clark Schmidt is the last one. I was uh, pretty certain that it was going to be Randy Rosarena because he still has rookie status, but we'll see what happens. Might be uh, might be Mountie, might be Rose Rain, and I think Wander Franco is going to get some votes. Let's do the silver packs now. Eventually, I'll get like 100 of these and do a video on 100 of these at once. It is the 86 Tops design, just with different players. And um, I thought we had a redemption there for a second, but it's a fake-out redemption. Just talking about um, getting the holiday spirit. We've got Logan Gilbert, Trevor Bauer, Mark McGuire, and John Aheim, and our... Final silver pack before we do that Tops Tech bonus pack. Let's see what's in here. There's Christian Yelich. There's the Key Brian Hayes. So there's three different Key Brian Hayes mojos to search after from Tops. One in each series. One, two, and update. Now it's time for the Tech cards. Let's check out what we've got in here. Tops Tech bonus pack. These are pretty awesome. All right, so we've got a Bryce Harper and also a nice Dylan Carlson from the Topps Tech set. So pretty cool stuff right there. Uh, for those of you who like those Topps Tech, there's two per box. You can only find them um, in the Jumbo um, releases. And there's 25 total cards in this set with some nice rookies that you can find. So that'll do it, everybody. Jack, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. Hope you'll join us tonight for a case break of this product. Until then, I hope you guys all have a great weekend, and I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.